you can see why they call them shiners because they shine all day we just sort of share the area with them and then there's bigger fish underneath them that are eating them so got snapper and different fish called greenbacks sardines and shiners like I said we just sort of share the the water with them In most years this place would be just full of snook but after the red tide there just aren't the snook there used to be I've been underneath here when there's been uh, 500 to 1,000 pounds of snook just right here, just laying in here eating the, the shiners. And But the red tide really did a number on them. Hi, this is Tom Mayers, and uh, I try to do videos that will help people out and show people different things. And one of the things that I've been doing for years uh, that's been really helpful to me is to do uh, water exercises. And uh, when I was, uh, yeah, 1985, when I was about 25 years old, um, I had an operation on my back. I had an injury on my back, and uh, it was uh, causing a lot of pain. I was having a hard time um, with back issues. and. So this doctor said he had an operation that would fix it, and so I had the operation, and they actually took the contents of one of the, uh, the sacks between my discs. Uh, we took the contents out. So at different times, they have different solutions to these uh, problems, and so uh, this was his his answer to uh, taking the pressure off uh, a nerve that was causing me problems. So I had that operation and I went and I got um, the surgery done and then after the surgery they prescribed for me water exercises. And so the water exercises that they had were at a pool and there were people with all different kinds of injuries that were doing this um, simple exercise in the pool. So uh, I, I did it and I enjoyed it and I uh, had a nice instructor and so I got her to give me uh, some extra lessons. And But basically it was something that you could learn at a one hour session. and. What it was was just something mild for somebody who had just had a serious operation and was trying to get better. And of course, first you had to have the operation heal up and then you could go in the water. And uh, so it's an operation that a lot of people could do that have uh, problems. And uh, one of my favorite places to be is under the dock here. And 
and uh, I've been doing, I've done it literally hundreds if not thousands of times. And so what, what the uh, exercise is, is it's just simply um, taking your leg and just sweeping your leg backward and forward. And so you take your leg and you bring it up as high as you can in the front and then you put it up as high as you can in the back. And so what I do is I guess you could sing or you could, you know, uh, recite poetry, but I just count. And uh, so I just count the exercises one when you lift up in the front and one when you go up in the back. And so I do a series of a hundred and so with each leg. So the first uh, leg I just do, you know, one, and then go in the back, two, and then up front, three. And sometimes these exercises are so subtle that they um, yeah, are overlooked. People just say, oh, that's so simple, that's too simple. But I'm in a nice environment here, the water's Oh, I guess it's 85 degrees. Of course, I don't know. I don't have a, a temperature gauge, a thermometer, but I'm guessing that it was like um, 85 degrees and the water's clear and clean and uh, surrounded by shiners. I started out just showing you some of the shiners swimming. So it's a real soothing thing to have just birds going around. And of course, there's the noise of boats and the cars and they're working on the bridge now, but it's, it's pretty nice. And so I do my right leg and I do that a hundred times and then I switch to my left leg and I do my left leg up as high as I can go and back as far as I can go and it's just one and then two and then three and I do that to a count of a hundred and so it's something that people can do and of course you know if you want to be athletic about it you can try to really push it and lift it up as high as you can in the front and as high as you can in the back and the water actually helps you because it gives you resistance and it also helps you lift, so it gives you a range of motion. So when you're lifting your leg up in the front and up in the back, you lift it a little higher because the water is, you know, buoyant. It helps you to lift your leg up. So I do a series of 100, of, you know, on my right leg, and then I do my left leg, and it's easy, you know, if you do exercise, you want to make it not stressful. So if you lose count, it's no big deal. You pick up wherever you think you're close to where you were. If I start with my right leg, then I know that my next leg is my left leg. So if I ever get confused or I get thinking, you know, heaven forbid you think, but you think about things and it's just kind of uh, a nice way to spend your time uh, doing these exercises. So um, after you finish doing 100 with your right leg and 100 with your left leg, then I, I do the exercises out to the side. So I'll take my right leg and again I just start with my right leg and I go uh, out with my right leg. So uh, I go up as high as I can go to the side and then back down. So I have a number of problems. I have a bad back where they've said that it's actually um, a herniated discs on either side of a disc that's been removed. And then uh, I have um, bone on bone in one knee. So the bone on bone in one knee, it, it is just something that makes it to where you can't walk uh, long distances. I used to enjoy walking, but you know, I just uh, can't do it. And being under the dock here is also good because it keeps you out of the sun. So, you know, reason to be under the dock is keeps you out of the sun. You can exercise. It's close to my home. You know, some of you may not have a dock like this available where you can go out in the 
you know, uh, golf or the ocean and do it, or, you know, you can uh, do it in a pool. So anyway, this is my exercise. I'm doing it out to the side, and when I do it out to the side, I count to 50. I don't know why I do that. I just have always done that. And so then when you get done doing 50 on one side, you do 50 on the other side. So now I'm doing it with my left leg, and uh, yesterday I was swimming here doing these exercises, and a big school of like, um, I don't know what they were. They were like um, jacks or mackerel. They came in and the just the water erupted. All of the, uh, the little sardines took off and it just turned into like this just wave of fish that was coming in here and splashing everywhere. And it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty neat. And uh, another thing exciting that's happened to me while I'm doing these exercises, and no, it's hard for a boat to hit you here. I've been run over by a boat, and I don't recommend it. But it's hard for a boat to hit you here. So, you know, that's always a consideration. You want to be safe. And um, like I said, it's right at my house. And I'm actually working on the dock right now. I've just done a video of the dock work I'm doing, so I thought I'd take the opportunity. I've always wanted to do a video about these exercises. So uh, anyway, you know, no matter what your problem is, and you know, you can do it however much. I do, like, on a general day when I'm doing exercises, I do it either under the bridge or under the dock. And uh, you can always, if you want to, grab one of these riders and do your exercises like that. And uh, use the rider uh, to hold on to. And uh, so I do like a uh, 100 with each leg and then 50 out to the side with each leg. And then I do a set of three of those. So you know, be doing 300 uh, exercises. And again, they're mild exercises. They're not something for, you know, uh, everybody, but everybody could do it. It would be good for an athlete to spend their time doing this. And it's kind of meditative. You know, you uh, get to meditate and think about whatever you want to think about. If you have real important thoughts, good for you. And if you don't, think about whatever you know but it's a nice thing that I've done with <clears throat> with my time it's a nice form of exercise for me and I just would like to pass that on to uh, other people who might have a use for it and um, and that's pretty much it So these sardines are constantly being attacked. These greenbacks or, or uh, shiners, they're constantly being attacked by mangrove snapper, trout, just anything, and especially, you know, jacks. Look, there's a big fish underneath there. Those are snook. So there are some snook here, which is nice to see. But um, so anyway, this is uh, just something I would recommend to anybody who wants to get some exercise and spend some time somewhere. Don't overlook your backyard. And uh, it's certainly pretty here. I tell people it's as pretty as anywhere I've been. And I've been fortunate enough to be a lot of places. You know, I've been through the Caribbean, I've been to the Mediterranean, I've been to the Baltic, I've been to the West Coast and the East Coast of the United States. So, Land's End has been some place that we've enjoyed all these years, and uh, we'll try to keep enjoying it as long as we can, and uh, 
just as long as you can appreciate watching the shiners just swim around and it's uh, mesmerizing to watch them. So anyway, this is Tom Mayers and I hope that this video came out. You never know until you uh, finish with it and, uh, and look at it on the computer. So um, here's one of the new uh, finger piers that we put in. So it'll be a good day if I don't drop this camera in the water and it doesn't get splashed. So I'm trying this just to get a different angle and if the first one doesn't work out I can always come back and, and do it like this. So again this has been my exercise video and if you can do it a couple of times a week good, if you can do it every day good, you don't want to do 100, do 50. You know, so just uh, try doing the uh, leg swings back and forth and uh, don't hurt yourself, whatever you do. The idea is to just uh, feel better not to hurt yourself trying to, to uh, get fit. So uh, back and forth with each leg. Uh, I do it a hundred times. Uh, out to the side with each leg, I do them 50 times and then do a series of however many you can and if you do like um, you know there's no rush to it it's enjoyable and if you do like um, three sets of a hundred with each leg and 50 out to the side with each leg it'll take you about an hour or two so uh, you know, it's just something that you can do and it's a nice way to spend your time and it certainly makes you feel better and it, it makes you uh, get a good night's sleep after you've done this kind of exercise and I can't promise you you won't hurt yourself, but I don't think you will and one of the things that happened to me when I was doing these exercises was I was swinging my leg back and forth and as I was doing it a uh, Stingray thought that I was, you know, scaring up something on the bottom that he was interested in. And he got underneath me and lifted me up. And it wasn't like a gentle or a mild thing. It was pretty abrupt. He lifted me up about a foot, and it was about a three foot stingray that was just checking to see what I was disturbing with my feet as I was lifting it up. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, those are just some of the things that happen, and you can watch the day go by, and it's just a real pleasant way to spend your time. And it'll probably be the best time you spent all day. If you have a nice day doing it, and you get your exercise, you don't get any sun, and um, you don't hurt yourself, what a good way to spend your time. Thank you.